my name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you the 15 investments that I'm currently holding that have performed the best for me in the last calendar year. So I'm going to be sharing with you funds, trusts, ETFs and individual stocks and shares that have performed exceptionally well in the last year. So I hold all of these investments in either my investment ISA, my self-invested personal pension, which is my SIP, or I hold a few of the individual stocks and shares in general investing accounts as well. So the funds, trusts and ETFs that I'm going to include in this video have achieved between 23 and 43% growth in the last year alone. And the stocks and shares that I'll be including in this video have done even better. They have achieved between 56% and 139% returns in the last year. So I'm gonna start with talking you through the funds, then the trusts, then the ETFs, then the individual stocks and shares. And what I'll do is I'll put timestamps on this video just so you can skip forward to the type of investment that you like the best. Potentially you might be a person who invests a lot of money into individual stocks and shares so you can skip through to that if you're interested in that. For me personally, I prefer to invest the bulk of my money in an investment ISA into funds, trusts and ETFs because I like the diversity that they provide. But I do know some people prefer to invest in individual stocks and shares so I'm including that in this video as well. So for the funds, trusts and ETFs that I'm including in this video, I personally have over a thousand pounds invested into each and every one of them. And then for the stocks and shares, it can be anywhere from between 10 to 200 pounds, um, really not a huge amount of money invested in the stocks and shares. I hold the funds, trusts and ETFs in my investment ISAs, which I currently have with Barclays Smart Investor and then also Fidelity. And then the smaller stocks and shares I hold in Free Trade and Trading 212 in general investing accounts. And then I've also got my SIP as well. So let's get started. Let's start with funds, first of all. So the first fund that I'm going to share with you today is the Lion Trust UK Microcap. I've got a separate video on this, actually. It has gone up 38.35% in the last year year, which is fantastic. I basically decided that I wanted to add a little bit of the UK into my portfolio because even though I had a lot of global funds, trusts and ETFs, there wasn't that much focus on the UK and being from the UK, um, I wanted to invest slightly more money into there. But basically, they invest in smaller companies that have a market cap of 175 million or less at the time of investing. The next fund is one that I'm actually holding in my SIP or self-invested personal pension. It is Janus Henderson Global Equity. In the last year, this has gone up 23.88%. So that's it for funds that I'm going to include. I obviously hold many, many more funds in my investment portfolio. However, I wanted to include the cream of the crop from the performance in the last year. Then moving on to trusts. We have BlackRock Greater Europe Investment Trust. This has gone up 40 42.12%, which is huge. So with this investment, I made the decision that I wanted to invest in a European investment trust, because again, a few of the investment trusts that I hold that are global do tend to have the highest percentage in US stocks. And I wanted something specifically to focus on Europe. Moving on now to the next trust, it is the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust. I've been investing in this for a few years now. It is up 28.32% in the last year. It's a nice global diversified trust. It can be very volatile. I have a separate video on it in case you want to check it out. Um, but I will continue investing in the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust and I believe it is at the moment the most popular investment trust in the UK. Moving on now to another European investment, it is the Montanaro European Smaller Companies Investment Trust or MTE. It has gone up in the last year 26.83% and again this was an investment that I did a video on a few months ago so if you want to check that out and look at this trust in more detail I will link it. Moving on now to ETFs, a lot of people absolutely love investing in ETFs because when you invest in an exchange traded fund, you're investing in the market as a whole. So I have been looking to add more ETFs to my portfolio in the last year 
and these two have done particularly well in the last year. So the Investgate Markets NASDAQ EQQQ ETF has gone up 31.48% in the last year, which is fantastic. And then the second ETF that has done very, very well for me in the last year is the LNG Battery Value Chain ETF, which is up 24.91% in the last year. So those are the two ETFs I'm including in this video. As I said, I do hold more ETFs than this. So I hold, for example, the iShares Global Clean Energy, but its performance hasn't been as strong in the last year. So I won't be including it in this video. Now, moving on to individual stocks and shares. So as I said, these have achieved a return of between 56 and 139% in the last year alone, which is fantastic. I don't have as much money invested into individual stocks and shares as I mentioned at the start of this video, but I am so, so pleased with the returns that I've seen from these individual stocks and shares. So I'm including eight different stocks and shares right now in no particular order. I am starting with Dexcom. In the last year, Dexcom has gone up 69.43%, which is great. Dexcom is a healthcare stock where they focus on diabetes treatment and monitoring systems. Moving on now to Marvel Technology. This has gone up 114.5% in the last year. Marvel Technology has actually gone up over 25% in the last month. It shared its better than expected results. It has seen some great growth over the last year. So I am really pleased to see over 114.5% growth. Moving on now to Advanced Micro Devices or AMD. This has gone up 56.34% in the last year alone. Then moving on to ASML Holdings, which has gone up 83.74% in the last year. Then moving on to Moderna, this has gone up 66.82% in the last year. Moderna has had a pretty rocky ride in the last year. I've been holding Moderna for over a year and at one point in my portfolio, it was up over 500%. I have sold a little bit of Moderna over the last few months, but still growth of 66.82% in a year is fantastic. And I'm really, really pleased to be holding a small amount of Moderna. Then Nvidia has gone up 138.47% in the last year, which is fantastic. And this is a stock I'll definitely be holding on to. Then the next stock I'm going to share with you is Omnicell. This has gone up 64.47% in the last year. I wanted to buy a healthcare focused stock and this is a kind of crossover between healthcare and tech because they produce things like robotics that sort through medication and things like that. So I am really, really pleased to see it has had a great year. Then finally, this video wouldn't be complete without including Tesla. Tesla is up 64.3% in the last year, I'm only holding a very, very small amount of it in my portfolio. However, in most of the funds, trusts and ETFs that I'm holding, it does tend to sit up there in the top 10 holdings. So yeah, I own just a small slice of Tesla, which has gone up 64.3% in the last year alone. So that concludes all of the funds, trusts, ETFs, and individual stocks and shares that have gone up a good amount for me over the last year. It's important to mention always that when I'm investing, there are some individual stocks and shares and funds and trusts and ETFs that haven't done so well. So it's really, really important to have a really nice, diverse portfolio. I'm really pleased with the performance of these investments. But yeah, as always, some of them don't do so well. Um, I might actually do a video on some of the investments that haven't done so well this year, if anyone would be interested in that, because I think I've learned as much from the investments that haven't done as well as I have from the ones that have done really well. Um, so at the moment, I'm working through my investment strategy, um, if you can call it that, for the next financial year, um, which I'm going to share on this channel, actually. Um, so I just really wanted to do a review of what has performed really, really well in the last year and then share that with you in case you find it interesting. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Um, let me know as always if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not an expert, I'm not a pro, I'm simply someone who's interested in investing and has started investing to grow my wealth um, hopefully into the future but I'm not an expert so if you're looking for someone who is 
I'm not your person. Um, but thank you so very much for watching. If you fancy seeing my investment strategy for the future, then please do subscribe and I'll be sharing that with you in the coming weeks. Thank you so very much for watching and have a really lovely day. Bye-bye.